I saw Multicultural Center and I thought, hey, that sounds like it has a purpose. So I applied and what made me stay? <sighs> Multicultural Center is not just a lounge, it's not just a theater, it's a very, very special place. I, at a time when I was kind of hungry for something, I, I don't think I, I really knew what I was hungry for, but, but the MCC fed it to me. What it was to me as a student was definitely a safe haven in an environment that was not very welcoming to, to people that, that in any way or the other um, resemble someone like me whose identity was not part of the mainstream, so to speak. You know, even though it's part of an institution, I would say it's still very grassroots because you can bring in people from outside of the community and you know that in the MCC there's a space for them, you know, to be able to voice themselves and be able to tell their story. What the art exhibits do is that it brings different perspectives of different backgrounds. So it could be race, class, gender, sexuality, and just all the different intersections. That, that is the best definition of what it is that I do. I am a community artist because I depend on people to feed my artwork and they in turn depend on me um, to give expression and voice to what it is the community is experiencing. Cross-cultural interaction is, you know, one of the backbones of this, you know, society in which we live, you know, and that's something that's integral. That's what this, that's what this center represents. It, it wasn't here because the university wanted, he, wanted it here, it was here because a lot of students fought to have it. The campus climate was one of, uh, you know, it's rather mixed as, as it continues to be in many places. There was uh, the welcoming elements on the one hand and then those other elements that wanted to continue uh, things as they had always been. Originally it was a group of black students who wanted a center. And then, you know, they protested, they really went to the administration, then they got together with other students of color, you know, fought for it, and finally they were given a room. It's not territorial, it's sort of anti-territorial, I think. And I think the way some think spaces like the meeting rooms, the way they, are, they were designed, allows for, you know, having a larger and smaller space um, you know, having the kitchen there is always very important to groups who, most of whom come from cultures in which food and hospitality are sort of central. We were try trying to promote these uh, intercultural, these multicultural events, so that it just wasn't one group putting something on and trying to get the students exposed to a broader uh, view of themselves and their, their place, uh, you know, among other people and, uh, you know, really educate them in, in the true sense of the word, you know, not just the head, but also uh, educating the heart as well. In the wake of the uh, rebellions in South Central Los Angeles, a group of us organized a meeting for students. There were probably 25 or 30 mostly young women, not exclusively, but I, I think they were mostly women, who just didn't know quite what to do. They were all devastated and wanted to do something positive and they needed to talk about their feelings and that was uh, one of those moments when the MCC was perfect. Election night was a pretty crazy night. BSU came really excited. The lounge is just that type of place for it where it's small enough where they can talk to each other and hang out and talk individually about what they thought about this election and also big enough so they could have a lot of members. Basically it was just an uproar of celebration. That was really, that was a good feeling. You could tell it was really historic. A space where you can um, freely express yourself and I feel that we're really privileged to be able to have the MCC here because a lot of campuses don't have that. They don't have a space where they can go and feel like they can talk about issues that are affecting them. It's bringing about more conversation and opening it up to different topics that are not uh, very much accepted or or just um, talked about as often as they, as they should be, particularly everything that's addressed at the MCC, racism, sexism, homophobia, xenophobia, any phobia in general that, that has made this world um, the place that it is, but I think places like the multicultural center that are very fulfilling and very safe um, are helping, you know, guide us in the, in the right direction. Santa Barbara needs to see things like this, you know. They need to see black students, white students, queer students, straight students, all coming together as one. 
you know, like otherwise, like this, this is like the one place where that happens. This event is part of a discussion series called Race Matters. The Race Matters Assistance uh, series has been, uh, I think, very successful and has brought people from campus but from the community as well and um, probably in surprising numbers to me at least. Yeah. We've done a lot of different topics within the series. We've had um, race in sports media, we've had race in environmental justice, we've done race in gender. I use the term friends very loosely but um, acquaintances I guess you would say who dressed up in blackface for Halloween in like 2007 uh, as the guys from Cool Runnings and that was I thought very offensive <laughs> you know obviously like the game surprise mentality is different I was taught to celebrate the gangster ways of Gandhi who conquered with non-violence as a way of life there's not a lot of safe spaces here and there's not a lot of safe spaces on campus you walk around school and you don't see like all of your friends, you don't see like a lot of people who think the same as you, and there's always like people that are trying to like put you down for what you stand for, and I just think like, you know what, if you want to have a cool conversation, or if you just want to feel a certain way, if you just want to like express yourself without feeling prejudged, I feel that MCC brings that to students, and I just to people in general, and I just feel like that above everything else is the most important. I feel like I have to say that these, this need is still there, the need for a, a safe space. Really look at the things that happened in the past, that they're still happening today in different manifestations, right? Empowering, friendly, fulfilling, amazing, yes. colorful, revolutionary, community building, diversity, safe, critical, queer, dynamic, enriching, welcoming, passionate, safe space, identity, empowerment. In 2008, today, like, why does the MCC exist?